How does that then translate to Islam? No, no, I didn't say. I didn't say no, that. But, you, but that's what. No, no, that, I that did, would be the next step. No, no, no. I, I didn't say to you. I didn't say to you that for me to remove the misconception about Jesus that he's not God, he's a prophet of God. I'm not saying that makes Islam true. What I'm saying that's the starting point that we should have because we as Muslim and, and Christian, um, Muslim and Christians, we have one common thing. Which is, you don't believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, correct? correct? I don't believe in Prophet, uh, I believe it, sorry. I believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. But we both believe in Jesus, correct? So right. why don't we start with, some, with things that we can agree upon? Something okay. that, you right. know, we, right. yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to try one more time. I'm saying. I'm going to try one more time. I'm going to try one more time. Yeah. So, like I'm saying, there are people who don't believe in Jesus' divinity, right? But they, they believe in the Bible, but they don't believe in Islam. They just believe he was a prophet. There are people like that. If I speak, if I speak to someone like that, then yeah, I'll, 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 I'll give them evidence. Oh, so, so because it's me, you don't want to speak Of course, like of course. Them, of course, of course, of course, oh, of course, James. Right. Do you get it? Do you yeah. get it? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm saying is one more thing before I let you go, right? Imagine we, we have something called shirk. Shirk means you associate partners with God. Yeah. And Allah says in the Quran in chapter 4, verse 48, as well as in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 116, that Allah does not forgive, uh, Allah does not forgive the sin of shirk. If someone dies upon shirk, associating partners with God, then he then Allah will never forgive. But any of his sins, he can forgive. Why? Because imagine, let, uh, let me ask you this question, right? Like your your mother brought you up, yeah. fed you, changed your nappy, right? Yeah. Imagine you don't show the same respect that she deserves, but you show respect to your friend. Is that just? No, in your in your hypothetical. You're being ungrateful to your mother. Yeah, you're Imagine the one who created your mother. And what you're doing is you associate partners with the one who created you and you're saying thank you Jesus, thank you for all the blessings. But Jesus was dependent upon the Father. What did Jesus say in chapter 5 verse 30 in John's Gospel? He says, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear a judge and my judgment is just, for I seek not my own will but the will of my Father. So Jesus, peace be upon him, he submitted to the will of the Father. So he was a Muslim in that sense, because a Muslim by definition means somebody who submits to the will of the one true God. And Jesus, peace be upon him, said very clearly in John, in John chapter 17, verse 3, that this is life eternal, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom we have sent. So Jesus is saying categorically clear, look, the only true God is the Father. That means Jesus, in essence, what he's saying is, I'm excluded from, from the Godhead. I'm, I'm excluded. The only one who deserves to be worshipped is the Father. Because the moment you associate partners with God, the one who actually created you, you're showing ungratefulness. Imagine that. Someone, yeah, someone, 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 saved, someone saved your life. Yeah, I understand your comments, society. Yeah? Your, your, it's your version of idolatry. No, no, no. But even Jesus is saying that I'm not God. The only true God is the Father. And this is from your... I don't believe in the Bible to be the Word of God. But I believe that there are certain parts that does agree with Islam. Because, it, it, because the Quran is like the Furqan, it is a criteria, it's to dis distinguish what is right and wrong. So whatever comes from, confirmed with the New Testament, that portion we've got no problem accepting. But things that conflict with Islam, we disagree with that. Anything in between, we neither say we disbelieve nor do we believe, right? So Jesus is saying very clearly that, look, the only true God is the Father. Yeah, Jesus made multiple statements like the I am statement. That's why the Jews wanted to kill him because they said, You being a man, okay. make yourself equal with God. Uh, you're quoting from John chapter 10, verse 30. I've done the whole line. Okay. So, and he said, um, What did Jesus say? Abraham, I am. No problem. Let's go, let's go with these statements. Okay. So, you, let's go by I'm a father one. Okay. John chapter 10, verse 30. And then, obviously, the Jews they picked up the stones and they, because you, you claim to be God, equal with God. What did Jesus respond? Did he say, Yes, you're right? Uh, yes. No, he says, is it not written in your law that I said ye are gods? He's quoting from Psalms chapter 82 verse 6. That's what he quoted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, what is, the, what is the Hebrew word for gods? Elohim. Elohim. Okay. So, Jesus is, is saying in the other words that, look, you misunderstood me. Because according to the Bible, the term God, the, wait, 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 the term God needs to be defined. Because just because someone is called God, that does not mean it's divine. And I'll and I, and I explain to you why. When Jesus quotes from Psalm chapter 82, 82 verse 6, that is not written in your law that I said ye are gods, referring to the Israelites. The Israelites were called as Elohim. Who else do we know is Elohim? God. Which God? Yahweh. Who's Yahweh? According to you. The creator. So are you saying that the Israelites, just because they're called Elohim, that refers to the creator? So refer back to that what you said about the Israelites being called Elohim. Okay, so, okay, no problem. So when Jesus says, I and the Father are one, okay, 
the Jews, they picked up the stones yeah. and say, no, look, I heard you, you said okay. about Israel. Right? Okay, cool, cool. So in, in John chapter 10, verse 34, Jesus says that, look, is it not written in your law, yeah. in your Torah? Yeah, is it not written in your scripture that I said, ye are gods, you are gods, mm. referring to the Israelites, right? And you shall die like one of the princes. Yes, I, yes. I, I, I don't know if that's referring to Israel. When it it, it is. I'll look into because, it. Okay, okay, who was Jesus speaking to? Well, at that time, yeah. he was talking to, um, yeah, the... Um, the priesthood. Okay. Uh, to the to the Jews, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so when he's quoting from Psalms, why would he quote a verse that's got nothing to do with the Israelites? So he's responding to the Israelites. He's saying that, look, in your scripture, you are also called as Elohim. Okay, so just because you just because you are called as God, according to the biblical language, that does not make you divine. Because the Israelites was called as God. Even Moses, if you read in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, that Moses was made as Elohim yeah, to Pharaoh. That, uh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. That was in a relationship between him and Aaron and Pharaoh. Wait, wait, wait. He said, as, exactly. as I, I speak, so that's a exactly, thing. exactly, Exa exactly, yeah. exactly. So what is Jesus is saying? Jesus is saying that, look, you misunderstood me. You misunderstood me, right? I'm not claiming, I'm not claiming, because why didn't Jesus take the opportunity so no, to say, I am equal with God? But when he said, but when he said, but when he said I am, what was, what was his, what was his reference then? Okay, what is the Greek word for I am? I don't know. Wait. Ego I me. Mean. Yeah, yeah, Do you know how many times Paul used ego I me mean for him, no. for himself? How many times? Many times. So? And, 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 if you read, uh, the, the, yeah, if, you, if you, yeah. When he's saying I am in that reference, he's not talking about as in, I am here, or I am there. He's using yeah. a reference as in to do with, um, Mount Sinai, when they said, who, say who sent you. Okay. Said, I need to say that I am sent you. Okay. That's why when he did that, they tried to kill him. Okay, but okay, just because the Jews accused him to be divine, does that does that make the accusation to be true? Because no, no, Jews, no, because... No, no, no. Yeah. my statement was, yeah. you said that he never claimed divinity. He never claimed. But I'm saying to you, he did claim divinity by those statements. But you're saying to me that he didn't. Which I'm is, saying to you that yeah. the priesthood, because they weren't average Israelites, they were for priesthood. No, so they had, the Jews would do no, anything. No, 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 wait, 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 hang on. The Jews would accuse anything about Jesus they, they were with they wait 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 one I'm second saying, when he was speaking yes. and the people who attacked him yes. they weren't the average poor beggar on the street of course I agree with you it was a priesthood so they had an understanding of the scriptures of course more, right? so of when course. he's saying I am yes they, they referenced it to when Moses was told by um, by God say who sent you I am so okay. that's why they went to pick up the stone no, no problem so, it, no so problem. go ahead okay but then but then the Jews accused many things about Jesus for example they accused Jesus of being possessed by the devil does that mean it's true even though they're knowledgeable, no, but they, but they possess him of devils because he could do miracles. So, so is Jesus? So, so it's, it's argument. That's what they possess him. Of uh, okay, 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 exactly. So, are you, are, so does that does that make the statement true? No, that he's possessed by devils. Exactly. It shows that he did things that were unnatural for, for men to do. Well, what's so unnatural that Jesus performed miracles by God's permission? Can, can you can you perform miracles? Of course not, right. because I'm not a prophet. Right, listen, right. <laughs> so, that's what I'm going to say. So, if the argument was why did they call it? They called him a, a devil. They called him a devil because he did miraculous. That's the reasoning for them calling him. No, a devil. because Jesus. No, because my my. I'm saying the no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. If you no, wait, wait. If you read John's gospel, if you read John's gospel right from the beginning, mm. Jesus was viewed as an esoteric figure. What is esoteric figure? Esoteric meaning someone who's very ambiguous in their statements. Mm. And you find the high Christology in in, in 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 Christian scholarship. They say that the highest Christology that you find is in John's gospel, which is the reason why no Christian comes to me and say Jesus claimed divinity in Matthew's gospel, in Mark's gospel, in Luke's gospel. No, it's always John's gospel, always, right? Now, what happened is that if you read from the beginning, I've read John's gospel from back to cover. Jesus never makes clear about himself. He never makes clear. He never makes it clear. Even they, so some of the Jews, they even debated: Is he the Messiah? Is he claiming to be the Son of God? They were confused, which is the reason why, whenever Jesus speaks, the Jews have a problem because you're not being clear, Jesus. What are you? Um, up until in the end of the 16th chapter, Jesus said, now I will make things plainly about me. And what did he say? John chapter 70 verse 3, that this is life eternal, that they may know you, the Father, the only true God. That is the clearest statement you'll ever find in John's gospel from Jesus. Other statements, I am the Father of one, before Abraham was I am, is very, very ambiguous. That's, but it's ambiguous to you. I'm saying the reason why they went and picked up stones to stone him is because it was very clear to them. Okay. Wait, That's okay. Like, if I say to, so so why, did it, why did it decide, why did it, why did some of the disciples deserted from Jesus in John's gospel? Do you know yeah, why? Yeah, yes, we know. Uh, no, why, why, why? The flesh of my flesh and the blood of my blood. No, we, uh, no why, why? That, that question. Yeah, why? Yeah, because this, this is a very hard statement, very few can follow. Yeah, why? Yeah. Because they were confused. So did they believe he was God? Huh? Did well, the disciples? The 72 that left. Yeah. Did they believe he was God? No, they didn't. The 12 disciples. The 12 disciples. Yeah, yeah. Did they believe he was God? Some of them had the understanding of who he was. Which one? Didn't. Which one? Well, Peter had an understanding. It came to him. 
about who Jesus was. What was he? We said about you are the son of God, the living Christ. Okay, but is it, man? because you know the son of God, what you have to understand, Islam, are you doing good? I'm the, the son of so God, this, okay. no problem, James, you just let me know. The son of God, you will find nearly all the prophets are called sons of God. Adam is the son of God. Ephraim is the son of God. In fact, if you read in Luke chapter 3, verse 38. Yeah, it's a term. Angels are called the son of God. Okay, so why do you. What's so special significance because of Jesus being called the son of God then? Because he is the son of God, is referring to. And they're referring to his divinity. For example, yeah. the angels are called the son of God. Correct? So does that make them divine? Uh, no, it doesn't make them divine. Exactly. But they're direct creation. Is Jesus a creation? No, Jesus is a creation. But, but I said wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You know the Gregorian calendar? Okay, like the Roman calendar. Yeah, the Roman calendar. Yeah. Where did it start from? When we say 2022? Yeah, but that's just... Uh, that's Wait, no, 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 I'm, tr I'm trying to make you think. Okay. What does 2022 mean according to the Gregorian calendar? Yeah, from the time of Jesus' birth. Jesus' is birth. Yeah. So you believe God was born? I believe that Jesus came in the flesh. Correct. No, 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 no. Do you believe that Jesus... No, I, believe, I believe Jesus came in the flesh. Okay, but can God have a beginning? No, okay, no. so the moment someone, the moment someone is born, no. you have a beginning. So, if, so for example, yeah. if I create a piece of technology now yeah. that could make me go back into my mother's room and come out, does that mean I didn't exist before? Sorry, say that again. If I, your, your argument is because God came into a physical form, he didn't exist before that form. No, 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 no. I'm like, saying, I'm that, saying God by his, no, no. I'm saying God by his nature. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying to you that oh. he came in the flesh. So you're saying because he came in the flesh, that means that he didn't exist before. Okay, so now you have a problem with that. Which is called a paradox. Because you're saying that God does not have a beginning, but when, when God came the as a flesh, he has a beginning. In human form. No, no. Well, regardless, because you believe he's manifested. No, 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 no. no. It, that doesn't matter. Because the human beings are limited. We have a beginning and we have an Of end. course. So can you attribute that to God? No, no, I don't attribute it to God. But I'm saying to you, he came in the flesh. That doesn't mean he didn't exist. Before. But that's what I'm saying. Which is, the moment God enters into his creation, he's no longer God. Because look, like we mentioned, like we discussed before, Jesus says in Mark chapter 13, verse 32, that only the Father knows the hour, not the Son, not the angels, not the man. Jesus excluding himself that only the Father knows the hour. And we've agreed that God by his nature has to be all knowing. But Jesus is saying that, no, I don't know. Only the Father, wait, 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 if, if I can just finish, right? So Jesus is saying that, look, even as a man, he doesn't know the hour, okay? Now, what you're saying is that is his limitation. And I agree with you. That shows his humanity, it doesn't show his divinity. But you're saying God came as a manifestation in flesh. But that only shows the humanity of Jesus, that doesn't show the divinity of Jesus. I kind of agree with that, because to be clear, I've been mean, raising, I mean, raising the, like, I'm coming from a non-biased view now because I've like, analysed both sides. And I do believe that Jesus was used as a propaganda tool in the New Testament to enforce the kind of mindset of where, if you compare the Old Testament and the New Testament, in the, in the, if you ask all the people who, who really strongly believe in the New Testament, yes, um, you can do whatever you want to be forgiven by Jesus because he died for your sins. About? Many, but, but in the Old Testament, there's actually yeah. a wrath, as in you fuck, you fuck up. So the language. <laughs> <That's so laughs> Go, 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 go. We will, we will even punish your seeds and your children. Mm. That is the kind of drift of the. But I think, I think you're talking about salvation. Yeah. But we're talking about the divinity side. No, salvation. Sa even Jesus, if you, I believe, was an actual king, where he had a territory, okay. an area. I do not believe he had special powers to walk on water. Mm. He never turned water into wine. Yeah, we agree with that. We don't believe he, in that. He as well. may, he may had excellent humanitarian, you know, characteristics. Yes. But I do believe that the European man has elevated Jesus to an X-man character. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To really 100%. get hold of so many people. How can you agree with that statement? But, Jesus no, 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 because, how, no, 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 because, because, because what he's saying, he's saying the way how, yeah, the the way how Christianity portrayed about it, Jesus, I'm that's even, what he's saying. I'm not even, no, 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 but he's claiming that Jesus was just a, a man and a king. He's saying that he didn't have any of these powers. They did call him the king and the king. According to you, you do believe Jesus was the king. No, listen, yeah. you believe that Jesus was a man and a king. Not, I do believe he's a man. He's not talking about king of kings in a biblical sense. He's talking about as a physical king. Yes, a king of a territory in an area. Okay, yeah. And was Jesus the king of a territory in an area? Do you, do you believe in oh, that? No, was Jesus the king of a territory in an area? Was Jesus the king of the era? No, we don't, get, we don't claim he was the king. No, no, Pete. No, we don't believe he was the king. We don't believe him. You believe he was a king of a territory in the No, 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 we don't. We don't. No, no, I, 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 I believe it's false that he was born broke and used to walk around with the raggediest clothes. But well, you're, talking about, you're talking about you're talking about a historical figure. We're talking about the, 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 the theological belief. This is what I'm saying, yeah. So what I'm saying is this, yeah, that look, 
Jesus is only shown in his humanity. He was just like us. He used to eat and drink, you know, but the difference is he received the divine revelation from Almighty God to preach the message of one God. If you read in Mark chapter 12, verse 29, a scribe approached to Jesus and asked him that which is the greatest of the commandments? Jesus says, Hero Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. He is quoting from the Shema of Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, exactly the same belief that Moses came with. Now, why didn't Jesus have the opportunity to say, you know, the greatest of the commandment is the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, we are three and one. He didn't say that. He is only reinstating the mosaic belief, which is the concept of one true God. Which is the reason why, as, as you agree, there is no such thing as Trinity in the Bible. There's not a single, not a single. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. So what we say to you is the only one who deserves to be worshipped is the one who gave you life. Right. So, and that's what I came back to. Yeah. So people come back and say, okay, Jesus isn't a son of God, Jesus isn't divine. How does that make Islam true? Okay, fine. So you want to move on? No problem. No, I'm that okay, cool. So, so we have. So it's later, I've got, I've got, no problem. Okay, there are. Ta we can give you tangible proofs that Islam is true. I'll show you how. How does it make profit? Right? Yeah, 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 sure. So, yeah, yeah. Prophet, Ma no problem. So, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he made many prophecies that we can verify today. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that a time will come when barefooted. Arab Bedouins would compete in each other in constructing two buildings. Imagine he was speaking in the 7th century. The Arab were semi-nomadic people in the desert. There was no, they were not even known as civilization. So you're saying because he made prophecies, that means that Islam is true. Wait, wait, let me compete. Let me compete. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. So basically, look. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he made this prophecy 1400 years ago. Yeah, me all this time. Secretly. Yeah, you know, I didn't even realise yeah, it because yeah, I, I can't even see the match. Yeah. So the prophet... Huh? C29. Yeah. You ask about time? No, no, no. No, 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 no just no, a no, recording no. camera. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said that a time will come when barefooted Arab Bedouins will compete each other in constructing two buildings. Now, if we were to rationalise in the 7th century, do you know what would make sense? It would make sense for the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to say, no, the, Ro the Russian, and, uh, sorry, that the Roman and the Sassanid Empire, the Persian Empire, they will construct two buildings. That makes sense. But in the middle of the Arab desert, he's saying, you Arabs, you're going to construct two buildings. Now we see, where is the tallest building now? No idea. Dubai, Burj Khalifa. Do you know who is competing? Do you know who is competing in Dubai? Who's? Do you know who is competing in Dubai for the no. tallest building? No. Saudi Arabia. Oh. And this is the prophecy. Because the, 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 because the oil was not discovered until 1966. And this is when the economy boosted. This is when they started to construct. Now I can show you a Google image where it shows Dubai 1990 up until now. And you'll be shocked. The Dubai in the 1990 was just a desert. Yeah, no, yeah, no. But now, 2022, two buildings. How did Prophet Muhammad knew this 49 years ago? How did he know that? If that's the prophet, I, I can give I you another one. Well, that's a loophole. I know you can. That's a loophole. I'd have to look into that. Okay, because, no problem. Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, but what? it was good talking to you. Okay. But we should have started that bit uh, <laughs> when I was asking earlier. No, no, because as, as I said from the beginning, we as Muslims, we want to we want to speak to the Christians, you know, something that we have one, one thing in common, which is we both believe in Jesus. This is what we're saying. And from then on, that's when we, 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 we start discussing whether Jesus ever claimed to be God, can he be God? What I'm trying to say to you is that Jesus is only showing his humanity. So if Jesus is only showing his humanity, he's eating and drinking just like all of us, you cannot attribute, attribute this to the divine being. Because a divine being he's independent from his creation he doesn't require to eat and drink but Jesus did if you're saying that Jesus came as a manifestation of God then you have a problem called paradox because you're saying that Jesus needs to eat to keep himself alive but yet at the same time you're saying his divine side doesn't require to eat either you eat or you don't eat you can't be in between like for example the marriage bachelor you cannot be single and married at the same time and this is called paradox which is the reason why many That's Christians... I went yeah. that I don't believe that is a paradox. If you come to live as a man... Can I ask a question? Go on, go on, go on. Yeah. No, right. I'm going now. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, going. Yeah, yeah. No, hold on one second. Yeah. Don't, don't. No, no. <laughs> because I've been here for like... <laughs> yeah, no, no, I've just been for a while. Been been no, no, I really appreciate your time, James. I really appreciate your time. I'll come back though. Yeah, no problem. Nice to speak to you, James, man. Go ahead. Take care, man.